Welcome, bitches, one and all, to my reaction to Season 1, Episode 13 of the Originals, Crescent City. So, last time we ended on a very concerning scene, as Papatunde presented a dagger to Celeste that is powerful enough to kill even an original. So, I think it's safe to say that those are her true targets, which is surprising, considering her relationship with Elijah, but then also not surprising, considering that the reason she is dead is due to what Klaus said to the people of the village, town, city, I don't remember, but... Her death is a result of Klaus, so I'm not too surprised on that front, but I wonder what her feelings for Elijah are, especially after we found out that she has been in New Orleans this entire time. So yes, with that said, very excited to get back into it and see where the story goes. So without further ado, let's go. Ah, one of the Harvest Girls coming back. We gather today for the first public service of our newly reopened church, St. Anne's... Oh, shit, okay. The events... Interesting. That took place at our church were tragic. Probably. I suppose they don't know about the ginger girl yet. No. And pay attention. But they would recognize her from the past, wouldn't they? Because she was from the time of Papa Tunde. So we gather with renewed spirit, made stronger, oh, committed shit. to the ideals of peace and love. Amen. Is this about to be an attack? Fresh bricks tell us someone in the family has recently fallen. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh shit! So is this Monique? Hello, Monique. Ah. Welcome back to the land of the living. So what is Celeste gonna take her and sort of, I don't know, recruit her in some way? But surprising that she is back. Is it because Papa Tunde died? Because Sophie mentioned that last episode. She mentioned about the fact that maybe once they die, then did didn't Sophie say that, or am I making that up in my head? I swear Sophie said. That perhaps once the people die, like the people that Celeste resurrected, then the power would actually transfer to the people who were meant to come back. <sighs> Sorry, Sophie, you were too late. Oh, or not? You're alive. <gasps> Has Celeste done something to her, though? I don't know, that was a little bit creepy, guys. He's called Papa Tunde. And right now he's wandering the corridor with the power he absorbed from every soul I had buried in the garden. So you might want to put your ear Actually, a little closer Marcel, to the ground. Actually, Marcel, he's not wandering the quarter. <laughs> I wanted to congratulate you on getting the church up and running. I can see this is a bad time. Nice to see you, Marcel. <laughs> Cammy. <laughs> Cammy. We got a special delivery. Would uh, you care to elaborate? Uh, Either our witch problems are over or they're just getting started. It's like she's taunting them. What is what are Celeste's plans here though? Thank you, God be with you. Oh, I doubt that, but I do appreciate the thought. Bastiana. Torreso fumo de lespia. Give your nephew Sean my regards when you see him in hell. Oh shit. Did she mark him the way that her his nephew was marked? Is he gonna go crazy? A girl literally exploded from a grave today as Sabine was giving her tour of the City of the Dead. It was Monique Devereaux. What? They think that all hope is lost, but now suddenly a Harvest Girl's resurrected. This is how we're gonna get Davina back. Yep. Kill the witch who took her place. Exactly. That's what I thought it was. Once Papa Tunde died, the power went to the correct place. Now, who are the other ones then? So we've got Ginger Girl, we've got Bastiana, and we've got Celeste herself. So to get all three of those Harvest Girls back, Celeste is going to have to die. I have a theory about who one of them could be. Celeste. Yep. She was warning us that a great evil was coming. Elijah's not going to see her as a great evil, though. This isn't witches attacking vampires but declaring war on us. Unfortunately, you are correct. <laughs> But with what Marcel did to the witches, he kind of deserves it. All of the vampires in the court to do. Would you kindly do this for me? You know the mum and wolf loves to be told what to do. She's not going to like it, but I will do it for you. If only to end this silly quarrel between the two of us. I was going to say, it's one thing seeing Klaus quarrel with his siblings. I hate seeing Rebecca and Elijah not in a good place. What the hell do you think you're doing? Listen. Everybody's running off looking for resurrected witches. Meanwhile, I think I saw one at the church. Genevieve. Oh, sorry, guys. I completely forgot about the reveal we had last episode in that Rebecca and Marcel plotted to bring their father, well, not their father, plotted to bring Rebecca's father 
into New Orleans to hunt Klaus. It is to do with Genevieve then, because we literally saw, we saw them talking and we saw them looking over at her. And so we were assuming that there was some kind of connection. My thought process is that they used Genevieve to find their father, bring him into town, and then they probably killed her to cover up their tracks. And that is why she is back for revenge. A lot of unfinished business. A lot of secrets that you and I don't want getting out. You gotta find that bitch and kill her. You need to find Genevieve and end this. End it like we did the last time. I thought so. They killed her, didn't they? T, please. Cammy is such an intriguing character because she's used a lot in the show to show us other characters and them interacting in the normal world. She's kind of our like human representation in the when they go to this bar, they sit down and they talk to Cammy. They don't have malicious intentions against her. They're just sitting down at a bar, but it's like our way to look into that aspect of their lives, if you know what I mean. For the past three centuries, the O'Connells have always tried to keep the peace. Save me the family history. It's all lies on top of lies. Cammy, pour me a drink. I, I have to tell you something. Does he know he's been cursed then? I mean, it was pretty obvious. <laughs> what happened to your brother Sean is about to start happening to me. What? Uh, I've been hexed. <laughs> I know some people. There has to be some sort of, I don't know, antidote. I mean, you could go to Sophie, but does she really know Sophie? There has to be some sort of way. Of course there is. Intriguing. If you want to save your uncle's life, all you have to do is take this and make sure it ends up in Klaus Michelson's heart. Okay, so this was all some kind of orchestrated plan. When she was listening in, I was wondering to myself, is this like all part of a thing? Like, has she pl planted herself here, knowing that Kieran is going to be walking in in a minute? But that's annoying because I don't, like, Klaus isn't going to die. So what's going to happen here? Is Cammy going to attempt to kill Klaus and it's going to backfire and Cammy is going to die? If not, then why are they so freely allowing this weapon near Klaus? You know what I mean? Like, if Cammy fails, then Celeste's only weapon against them is now in Klaus's hands. You know, it's just a little bit like, huh? Tonight's a full moon, Rebecca. So what? Two pregnancy you can't turn. Yes, but I wanted to invite a few people over. Oh, her family. Who the bloody hell is that? Cakes up back, right? <clears throat> <laughs> oh, she throwing a party party. Now you could wrap me up, send me to my room, or... You could help me throw one hell of a party. Honestly, if I was Rebecca, I'd be so intrigued by this. Like, werewolves that only turn at the full moon. That I'll just stick around for that alone. Elijah, to what do I owe the pleasure? Ooh. My family needs an ally among the witches, and you've helped us in the past. Perhaps together we can avoid an unnecessary conflict. I'm sorry, but this interaction, like, seeing these two together is insane now that we know that this is actually Celeste, because... We know that she's been around in the quarter this entire time. And even though they were driven out, how long ago was it? Was it like a hundred years ago? No, it was about, when was it? My time frame, can someone please, please, please put in the Patreon comments, the timeline of when the originals had to leave because of, like, when did they come to New Orleans? When did they have to leave because of their father? And when have they returned? I just need to know those years because I don't want to look them up myself in case I get spoiled, but I like, I can't remember. But whenever that was, whenever they had to leave, she has been there up until that point anyway. So she was around Elijah without telling him that she was alive. So did her feelings not run as deep for him as his did for her? My people are scared. They're desperate, but they're not dumb. You have a niece on the way. It stands to reason you'd be willing to discuss how to run them out of the city. Let's walk together. <laughs> it does seem like her issue is with Klaus. In the end, she sacrificed herself for the cause. For the witches. For you. And do you have her faith? I lost my faith. And I realized that if I didn't believe, I would be letting you down. I tried to get it back. I tried. Monique is behaving very strangely. I'm getting vibes of like someone who, how do I describe this? Someone who's like part of a cult. Like she said to her, do you have faith? It's kind of like being in the other side with these spirits may have warped her, may have changed her into like the witch equivalent of a religious, what's the word? Is it religious zealot? Is that the phrase I'm looking for? But someone who's like devoted 
to the cause and she is check checking whether Sophie is also devoted. Three more girls sacrificed during the harvest. I want to bring them back. Who are you kidding? You don't care about those girls. You just you want Davina back that, so yeah. you can use her power again. I disagree. He's telling the truth. How do you know that? I can feel it. He's loyal to her. Interesting. She can feel it. Have her powers been enhanced due to the harvest ritual? He's going to go crazy and die, isn't he? Just like Sean. We'll still be in this stupid fight because he lied to me about the witches and vampires. I just, I don't think she's going to go through with it, guys. I don't see her going through with this. Is he going to somehow talk her out of it without realizing? The lies your uncle told were meant to protect you. He is a good man. As for these witches, their attack on Kieran should be proof enough they are the enemy. In that we are united. I disagree with that sentiment. I understand that point of view of thinking that they are the enemy, but to Cammy's eyes, you got to be smart about this. Why would they be the enemy? Have they done something to the witches that have hurt them? And that is why they have now become the enemy. You know what I mean? Like, it's very easy to see black and white, good and bad. Not always the case. So, I don't know. I, I understand that they want to attack the witches right now because the witches did go out and hunt vampires, but the vampires have been controlling and killing witches for months slash years. It is what it is. Claps. Oh, is she actually gonna do it? Huh? Nice one, Cammy. Said would cause untold pain and torment even to an original. She said if I stuck it in your heart, she would heal Karen. Maybe if I were more like you, I could do it. But I'm not a monster. Damn. I'm not stupid. If there's a war going on, I want to be on the winning side. Yeah, to be fair, I, I didn't think about that either. That that would be a very dumb move to go and kill Klaus because then Rebecca and Elijah will come after you and you and Kieran would be dead anyway. Like, what's the fucking point of that, you know? And even then, it's very stupid to think that you could sneak up and stab Klaus. I feel like if Cammy had made it any closer, Klaus would have come, become suspicious and like speed span around and stopped her. So good idea there, Cammy. There's one of them. Is that the one that we've been seeing? Hello again. Is Rebecca close by though? Because I'm scared that the witches are going to go after Haley. You've got to be kidding me. Vampire is trying to reverse a witch's hex placed on you. And it's the cup you find sacrilegious. <laughs> Can't attempt to use my compulsion to counter Bastiana's curse if the good father has Vervain in his system. Thus, we bleed him out interesting to try and use compulsion to attack a curse i never even thought about that oh that's why she put clothes on the line because they're all going to be naked oh bless you Haley. empires on one side witches on the other no way am i letting monique get in the middle of that in order to get her out i'm gonna need money do we have a deal? Sophie, I don't know if Monique is going to be wanting to go with you. She seems to be very... There's something about Monique. I'm not the only one reading it, am I? She seems dodgy right now. I'm a little bit afraid of her. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I seriously doubt you invited us here to wait on us. Here we go. Is this the one who's been watching over her? You're Haley. I'm Jackson. It's nice to see you again. You're the wolf who's been watching me. You're a Lebanair. Baby, it's a, it's a big deal. But personally... My interest is in you. Intriguing. Why? Our parents knew each other. They were of the same people, but not the same bloodline. Now, you know how pack hierarchy works, right? Everybody has their part to play. And we had our part, too. Were they set up to be together? You were supposed to be my wife. Awkward. Don't know if that's going to play out the way you think it is going to, buddy. <laughs> she is her own woman now. As surprising as you might find this, it's not every day that someone asks you to betray your own brother. Celeste. Oh, shit. How did he know? And when Sophie discovered that there was no magic in your remains, I wondered, could you have possibly cheated death by using your power to place your essence into the body of another? And if so, then who? Elijah. Sorry. <clears throat> Yikes. Elijah, you are so <laughs> fucking smart, my boy. How did you figure that out? I suppose if anyone's going to figure it out, it would be him. You have been playing a very long game indeed. Very long. To what end? Klaus's death, I'm pretty sure. Elijah, control yourself. After all this time, 
Don't you understand? I was gonna say, Elijah, don't let her kiss you. She's a really powerful witch. She could have like some kind, something on her lips. She could have something that she's doing. Like, I'm not here to kill you, Elijah. I'm here to teach you the error of your ways. Huh? Always and forever was the greatest mistake of your life. Is she gonna like manipulate Elijah's mind into hating his siblings? You will overcome what the witches did to you. You will resist the dark urges of their hex. Did it work? Oh, how do I know if it worked? <laughs> you won't go on a killing spree. <laughs> the vervain is out and I'm at the mercy of this murderous bastard. I bet you find that really funny, don't you, Cammy, you little... I think it's safe to say that the hex is still in effect. <laughs> I'm gonna find the witch who did this and then I'm gonna do what I do best. Unfortunately, Klaus, this is no ordinary witch. It's working. Uh, is Monique doing it? Who needs a locator spell when I have all the leverage I need right here? No, Monique! Wait, what? Why does he need Monique? He is gonna know pain and torment like he's never felt before. Unless you choose to save him, of course. But then that leaves Rebecca, your tragic sister. She's about to find herself in quite the predicament. Why? What have you done? But then that leaves Haley in jeopardy. She has no idea how dangerous it is to be loved by you. Yikes. He'll recover with just enough time to choose one. But what do you mean he'll recover just in time to save one? What plan have you got for all three of them? Is the person dancing with Rebecca at the party right now not actually one of the werewolves? Is he a witch? Like, what what's going on here? What have you set up that is going to kill them all? Because Klaus has got the dagger, so that's not going to happen anymore. That That's him saved. So what's happening with Rebecca and Haley? What a shame it would be were I forced to send her back to the death she's just escaped. You know my rules. We do not hurt kids. Spare me the hypocrisy of your moral code. It didn't stop you from killing Monique's mother. Yikes. Bastiana! I know you're close. I will end this girl with the very blade you meant for me. I'm not saying it again. <laughs> Marcel, careful. We can't have the witches get control of that dagger again. I decide who lives and dies here, Marcellus. Oh, I hate it. It's awful every time. I know that they... Oh, shit, Sophie! Oh, shit! What does this mean? He's not gonna die. What does this mean? They said it would cause pain and torment, didn't they? So... Is it not something that can actually kill an original? Is it something that just gives them pain and torment? But then there are so many ways that you could do that without the dagger. So I don't understand why this dagger is so special. I just wanted to meet my family. I never imagined I'd meet my husband from some weird ass arranged marriage. Arranged marriage, that's it. I couldn't remember the term earlier. The bloodline goes back to the very beginning. Two families, yours and mine. I guess that makes us kind of like royalty. <laughs> this is a joke. Right? I mean, if you're royalty, where's the throne? Taken. Unfortunately. Look, obviously things didn't work out the way anyone thought they would. Our pack made a huge misstep with the vampires when we refused to back down, and Marcel had us cursed by a witch. You were the last one of your bloodline, Andrea. Andrea? And after everything you went through to find us, you're the one who's gonna break our curse. What are you talking about? Your witch friend. She told trend. Eve she was coming here tonight to set us free. Oh shit. I think Ginger Bitch is about to turn up. Rebecca. I really do like you, but this is the deal we made. <gasps> what deal? With whom? What? <laughs> okay, so what? So Rebecca's been set up by uh, was she set up by the witches or the wolves because obviously he just mentioned that the witch said she was going to come and try and break the curse and all that but i don't understand how that puts Haley in danger but in terms of rebecca is this unrelated to the witches did the wolves make their own deal that they wanted to take rebecca out because she's an original like I, i'm a bit confused on what the reasoning for that wolf attack was oh i'm assuming the deal was all of you wolves go after rebecca and then we'll break your curse okay sorry but why is Haley in danger? Why would Elijah go and save Haley from something? What are they doing? Elijah, something's going on with the witches. Listen to me. You're right. 
Slister's back. What's going on? It's a trap. Oh, are the witches? Are the witches the ones attacking Haley right now? Not only are they trapping you inside, my darling, they're burning you. But I love the effects that they've been using for witchcraft in this show. Elijah, he chose Haley. Bless you, Elijah. Where's Rebecca? I suppose in choosing Haley, one, you're close to Rebecca, and two, Haley is the one who can least defend herself, you know? You gotta save him, Elijah. I know that's your family, but you gotta save him. Elijah. Well done, mate. Proud of you. That's why I love Elijah. <gasps> My darling! It's been such a long time, Rebecca. Oh, no. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, God. What has she got planned? He's suffering horribly, I might add. And all because you chose to save the little wolf instead of your own blood. Oh! What a horrific ending <laughs> to your pathetic, diseased family. Wow, your pathetic, diseased family. I won't stop until I find a way to break this curse. I promise. We seen you around, Jackson. Klaus, where are you? Mr. Michelson is currently indisposed. Oh no, she not. What happened? What She's not going to reverse it because you went against her. Oh, Cammy, I'm scared now. I'm scared. What is this bitch going to do to you? You choose instead to side with evil as your uncle has done many times before you. His punishment will atone for his attempts to prevent the harvest. His suffering will purify him. The witches of the French Quarter will rise again. If I've ever seen someone devoted to their cause, it is fucking Bastiana. <laughs> My god. I got guys out looking for him right now. Don't mess with Elijah's family. Klaus did one of his classic temper tantrums, snapped my neck, tried to take on a coven of witches by himself. He got dropped. I don't know where he is or how to find him. See, that that is the problem with Klaus. It's like, I get that he was trying to help Cammy and all that, so I kind of am okay with what he did, but he went against them on his own and failed because he was on his own. Classic Klaus, you actually need help from other people, mate. Come on, we have to go. I don't want to go. I, yeah, I don't think Monique's going, Sophie. I should have come and got you before that stupid harvest. But you can still have a normal life. I don't think she can have a normal life. Like, I'm sorry. I, I, I understand where you're coming from, Sophie. But this girl, she hasn't been dead for these months. She hasn't, like, not been conscious. She's been on that other side with the witch spirits. And she's come back very weird. So I wonder if they've done something to her. They've like indoctrinated her in something like she seems to be in a very strange state of mind. I can't describe it. It's like she's part of a cult, if you know what I mean. Like she seems to be very like floating on the clouds. But I am a witch and I don't want to go. Huh? The ancestors said you didn't have enough faith. I was hoping they were wrong. I should have known better. Is she killing her? And will kill anyone. <laughs> He doesn't keep the faith. Wow. <laughs> Is Sophie actually going to die? Oh my god, she's with them. I mean, I suppose it makes sense. Those three are technically ancestors. Listen, I thought that Monique was off the deep end. I thought she looked very like a member of a cult. I did not think she would kill Sophie. What the fuck? So yes, there we have season one, episode 13 of the originals. And what an ending. We haven't had this ending so far in the originals where everything just seems fucked. Like, yeah, we've had tense moments, but to have two members of the original family completely incapacitated, their location unknown, they're being held by four now extremely powerful witches. Like, Jesus Christ. Now, getting into the story of the witches... I didn't really, I kind of thought about it, but I didn't really think about it clearly. The fact that these people who got resurrected are technically the ancestors. Like you can sit here and say that they're evil and all that, but they are part of the ancestors that wanted the harvest ritual, that fuel the harvest ritual, that fuel all of your powers. So of course with Monique 
being on the other side and being indoctrinated by them all. Of course she's going to be on their side. I didn't even think about that fact, but that means that the other two Harvest Girls and Davina, Davina not so much, only because Davina wouldn't have been there the whole time, but maybe Davina will be convinced as well. They might be changed. Their mentality may be changed, and that is terrifying. Like, Monique was changed so much to the point where she just murdered her aunt for not believing enough. Like, huh? So yeah, now exploring the rest of the story, obviously we finally found out Celeste's plan. It does, it seems as though she wants to take out the original family as a whole. Klaus seems to be her main target because obviously not only did Klaus kill her, Klaus has killed a lot of witches and has come into the French Quarter and because he sided with Marcel and all that, they've been the leaders when a lot of witches have been killed. So of course she's going to be against that. And the fact that she now has these two really powerful witches, what, three if you count Monique. Monique does seem to be very powerful because she easily overpowered Sophie. So I think it's safe to say that her powers have been amplified through being one of the Harvest Girls. I don't know if that's one of the pre prerequisites of being a Harvest Girl. Like you die for a while, then you come back. But not only do you come back, you come back uber powerful. I don't remember that being a part of it, but it does seem as though that's what she's saying because Monique said that once all four of them are back, they're going to have enough power to completely take over the French Quarter, which has me questioning things because the only way that Monique came back was because Papa Tunde died. So do these other two witches have goals? And once those goals are achieved, they are also going to kill themselves so that the Harvest Girls can come back. Perhaps they do have their own... For instance, we know that the ginger girl Genevieve wants to take out Rebecca and Marcel and get revenge on them. So perhaps once she's got her revenge, she's going to want to kill herself, allowing the Harvest Girl to come back. But my big question is, if that is the case, what's going on with Celeste? Because Celeste isn't going to want to do that. So is Celeste just going to be able to give up that power? Because Celeste was already here before she took that final Harvest Girl power. So is there a way to just give it up and allow the girl to come back without killing herself? Or will Celeste have to die? Because if so, why has Celeste lived this long just to kill Klaus? It seems like a waste, you know? But yeah, overall, fantastic episode, fantastic ending. Like, I've never been more hyped for an Originals episode because Klaus and Rebecca have literally just been taken out. I am curious as to what this dagger does because I was under the impression that it would kill him, but it seems as though it's just causing him pain. Maybe you have to stab him in the heart because he was stabbed in the chest. It's not the same. I don't know, but very curious to find out about that. Obviously, Rebecca's been incapacitated. I don't know what Genevieve has in store for her, but it doesn't seem to be good. But yes, anyway, with all that said, thank you very much for watching. I've left a link down below to my Patreon. We'll be able to find the early and current reactions to the originals and all the other shows that I do. Also left a link to my Twitch, my Discord, and my social. So be sure to follow them if you are interested. And Jess, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.